You're not feeling this whole porn arc with me? Nah. You ain't signed up for onlyplugtalk.com? No, bro. You just check it out. <laughs> I think you're doing free promo, free <laughs> advertising. You just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really my friend, you would check it out. No. Nah. The best moment was in the freestyle where I said something about, I'm what the f this bitch and pass it to Brian Pumper. Oh, you, yeah. And you go, who's that? I go, this is a real cool guy. You should check him out. You go, yeah, I'm going to check him out. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, did you ever check him out? <laughs> yeah, did no. You? No. You never like, checked uh, him out. He got retired. People tell him, people's coming in my right. DM like he's a fucking porn star and shit like that. I was talking to his daughter the other day. He was talking to her? She does OnlyFans. Oh. Is it fire? I mean, she looked all right, but I was just talking to her about her deadbeat ass daddy. Like, she was just complaining to me about how he was a weirdo and shit. Not like to her like that, but like she was just talking about how he wasn't really around and shit. I was just having a whole little conversation with her. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right. How do you feel about the state of uh, scam rap in 2024? <clears throat> uh, is it still alive or is the shit dead? Did DJ say it's did people who keeping it alive and shit. Like Punch Made Div, um, your op. Yeah, you still an that. op. You can say that. Still an op. Yeah. In my life, and I f with his music, but in my life, I've seen very few people run off with somebody else's style so blatantly as the like, way that literally. he kind of did that shit. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, for sure. He definitely like saw what you're doing, realized that you kind of stopped doing it, and was like, I, I could do this. Like, and just kind of swooped in and just did it. Smartest shit ever. Props to him. But you beefed with him like three years ago on Instagram Live. Yeah. Before he popped off. Mm -hmm. And you were calling him OBN Dev at the time. That was his little thing. Yeah, I think that was his name and shit. So like, I think he used to stream or some shit. People used to tell me he's like 2K streamer. But isn't OBN like a legendary uh, hacker? I don't know. Or is it, was it like a hacking group? He probably, yeah, he probably was like a fanboy or some shit. Okay, so this is before he became Punch Made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why were you guys beefing three years ago on that Instagram Live? Um... I forgot, honestly. Like, I really forgot. I think because, like, I I think because, yeah, 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 because he made that one song where it was explaining how to swipe. And, okay. I, and I DM'd him, like, bro, what is you doing and shit? And then that's what it was. Like, we just got on live. But isn't that the same thing that people were getting mad at you for? Was just basically doing little tutorials in the songs? Yeah. And now people, you see how shit worked? But why were you mad at him for, what, what did he reveal too much? No, 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 no. It wasn't nothing like that. I was just saying, like, like I didn't go at him like bro I'm gonna beat your ass or kill you in the DM it was just like damn you like I see you no actually it was just like I see you inspired and shit it was like one of those type of messages mm -hmm. like keep doing you or some shit like that that's what it was and I don't know how to feel we got on live though did he ever end up scamming you no oh. I don't know I heard he like scammed you for a verse no his manager in 2019 his manager paid for a feature said it was for another artist end up having mm. this yeah that's what it was. So, so you guys have a song together through yeah. that. Yeah, right. Damn, did that piss you off? Because then all of a yeah, sudden you're giving clout to your op. Exactly. That shit look weird as hell. At the time, I remember when we did the live. I look on YouTube. It's a whole ass song. Wow. That shit look weird as hell. But do you feel like? Do you respect his version of the of the scam rap? Because I mean, he does do it differently. He <laughs> takes shit kind of to like a crazier, <laughs> extreme. His shit is almost like more hostile than like terrible sometimes like he'd be he'd be talking about girls overdosing and seeming like he's kind of like relishing in it like he just kind of like takes your formula but then keeps pushing with it right exactly just like what i was saying basically took the formula and said what how worse can i get mm. basically like how how can i make this even worse yeah or even better in the worst you know what i mean right what what about when he ran up on you in the mall he didn't ran up on me in the mall well he did he right? was coming he was coming through that entrance i was walking through the mall we seen each other in the mall. He had three people with him. I was with my kids. He showed a gun. I was about to go outside and fight him. Nothing happened. He didn't want to fight? No, he didn't. No, I didn't want to fight. It was three niggas and the gun. Mm. I, mean, I ain't about to do that. Then I had my brother with me. The nigga ain't even follow me while I'm going outside with three niggas. The nigga walking off in a different way. Your brother was out. I swear to God. This is your brother that you like grew up with. Blood brother. Nigga, like 20... Seven or some shit like that, thirty or some shit. Can you not really fuck with them anymore? I don't fuck with them no. Especially more. you got your kids. It's like, bro, you're here to watch yeah, exactly. the kids while I catch this fade. Not even that, nigga. You, if you see me walking with, if it's me by myself and it's three other niggas and you see they just showed a gun and I'm about to go scrap. I was really about to go scrap. Right. Win or lose, jump anything, and the nigga just, just wasn't there. You think Punch Man Dev would have gave you a fair fight, or you think he would have just smoked your ass right there? 
I feel like he would have been scared and just shot me. Really? When I when I when I when I start beating his ass, he would have got scared and shot me. Or one of his men. It's weird to like have a fist fight with the burner on you because the burner could transfer hands. Like all you got to do is if you, <laughs> if you get in the clinch, boom, you take oh, right, that right, shit. Right, right, right. So like that's the same reason with a cop. Like if you go to squabble up with a cop. They treat it like a life or death situation but, because if they could, if you could grab that gun, then the yeah, whole situation so it's, it's, it's is, is switched up on them. Right, yeah. exactly. But like I said, there's three of them, right. three guns. Go hold. Oh, at least do you think they all had them? Definitely. Mm. Yeah, and they legal. So if they, I guess that's go go as self defense. I don't know, but like I said, if we would have fought and he would have got started getting beat up, he would have shot me, bro. I know he would have because mm. he would have been like he would have felt embarrassed and scared and shit. Like I know. So are you somebody that when you're at the mall with your kids, are you thinking about the possibility of running into somebody that you don't know? No, I ain't worried about that shit. I ain't worried about that Because, like, besides that situation, there wasn't anybody you were worried about running into? No. Where was that? Uh, that was Kentucky. Why the f*** are you both in the mall in Kentucky? He from Kentucky. Oh, is? And I was just there. What the hell are you doing there? I was there. The fresh mall? No, that mall is horrible, actually. They ain't got shit in there. Really? Telling you, that's the only mall in Lexington too. That shit horrible. Really? That's why we met, went to the same mall. It was the only mall in Lexington. Really? Only mall. That shit weird. That is interesting. It's like a weird mall to run into somebody in general. Like, I always hear about Lennox. Everything going down in Lennox. Yeah, Lennox is like the one. Lennox is like the <laughs> Royal <laughs> Rumble. You can just get your chain took <laughs> any day of the week. Duh. <laughs> that shit great. Um, now. At this point, okay, because in the Instagram live three years ago, you were t- telling Punch Made Dev that you wanted to get on a song with him. You're like, let's just do this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was w- trolling. Though. You were trying to, would you have done it though? Would you have tried to capitalize on the beef? No, not at the time. I still don't want to do a song. Hmm. It's no point. But. Do you, so, but you haven't had any kind of conversation with him? Because like part of what blew him up all uh, uh, after that was uh, when he did the video with Tommy G where he like, you know, was, mm-hmm. was linking that up was with genius. him and doing a vlog and shit. Um, that was genius. I don't know. Do you think that he's here to stay or do you think that you could reclaim the throne? I always got the throne for one. Mm. Like, it's always going to be me, anybody else second. But like hype wise, like buzz wise, he got the buzz right now. You mm-hmm. me? But the throne always belonged to me. What do you think that you need to do to like get that buzz back? Like, what what, what do you think could reinvigorate shit? Shit, drop music. Come up with some crazy marketing and shit. And it's go work. The plan go work. You gonna see. Hmm. Definitely. 